Hello my friends, thanks for tuning in. Today we will create a very nice set of cool presets in Pigments 5. I will start with the bass sound, turn that into a plug sound, go on with the pad sound and finally we will also create a lead sound. Everything by using that minimalistic way of thinking I'm so famous for. And because Pigments is such a feature heavy virtual synthesizer, you want to check out this video here. It's a beginner friendly tutorial where I show you all the basic stuff in Pigments. But without further ado, let's start. For my minimalistic bass, I only use Engine 1. I set it to Wavetable and I'm using the basic waveforms here. And it's a saw wave that slightly goes into the direction of a square wave. And the exact position is 0.704. But the exact value is not really important. I only show you my value here as an orientation for you. The main point of this video here is to enable you to come up with very cool sounds in no time by keeping it simple, right? In order to make my bass sound a little bit thicker, I also use the Artillery engine here and the oscillator. It's set to a sine curve, but it's pretty much the default setting. I mix it in with an output level of minus 12 dB and send the Artillery engine as well as engine 1 to filter 1. And filter 1 is set to a low pass 12 dB. Also absolutely nothing special and I set the uh, cutoff and resonance to my liking. And the cutoff has also been fired by Envelope 2. We will talk about that in a second. More important right now is this section here in Engine 1. I've set up voices to a value of 2 and detuned it by 1.5%. And because we are creating a bass sound, I also turned down the stereo spread to 40%. You know, for a bass sound, it's generally a good idea to have it a little bit denser. I'm not saying you should go mono with the bass, but I also don't recommend to have it really widespread. And then you can experiment with these buttons here. I only use the ring modulator and set it to 0.2. Let's continue with the envelopes. My main envelope is nothing super special. Uh, it's a fast attack because it's a bass sound. I want to have the sound immediately when I play a note. And I set up decay, sustain and release to my liking. I want to have a nice body, but still a very short sound so that I can also play faster runs without making everything sound muddy. So I told you before and I tell you again that my envelope too is firing the cutoff of filter one. So when I play a note, it opens the filter immediately and then closes it in a short while. Believe it or not, but by creating this potential bass sound, the main part of our work is already done. I will now turn this bass sound into a really cool plug sound we can use in a sequencer part, for example, and for that I will also use the sequencer here in Pigments. And by the way, this is not morning pee, it's just water with lemon juice. Although, better look at this. Everything is still the same, except a few things. First I turned off Artillery Engine, then I turned down Ring Modulation, but I applied LFO1 to this setting here, wave folding, very low value as you can see. And I set the LF01 to unipolar and free running. So it's not synced with the tempo of the track. So it will hopefully create a more chaotic texture. But again, that's of course totally up to you. Before we look at the sequencer section now, let's check out the effects. You see there are still no effects going on. By default, the effects section is always on in pigments when you start a new preset. But on the other hand, the actual effects are always set to 0% wetness. But our plug sound already sounds like this. Very nice. And this is just because I use the sequencer here and I hit the random button and set the generator to natural minor. And then you can still turn on and off single notes here in the sequence and also change the pitch of the notes and everything else. And because we want to keep it simple, that's literally all I did here in the sequencer. 
But hey, I forgot to show you one very important thing. The envelope one is now a bit different than it was with the bass sound. Not the attack, it's still one millisecond, but the, I have a long release of 1.55 seconds, which creates a natural reverb on that note, which is on the other hand very short and ploppy. But you hear the reverb that comes from the long release time. Now let's continue and create this pad sound. I'm still using only engine one and the same wavetable, but this time I changed the position of the wavetable with LFO2, which is set to free running, also a free tempo and a bipolar. This means look at the center position here and the value, it goes up and down. So it goes to both sides. And I still have the same wave folding LFO1 going on like in the plug sound. I also changed the envelope, of course, so it has a longer attack and an even longer release time, <laughs> about eight seconds, okay? And envelope two is now opening filter one very slowly and takes it back a little bit, okay? So this is just fine tuning, you can do whatever you want, but there's one more important thing, two more important things to be honest. First I've set the voices to four and the stereo spread is now at 100% and I also turned up the detuning to 2.52. And the second thing is of course in the effects sections, this time I need the delay and also the reverb. I didn't change anything, maybe the stereo spread and feedback, but the combination of a delay and a reverb for a pad sound is always a very good thing. But for the lead sound, I switched off all the effects again. And I also removed both LFOs, but I changed the envelopes again, especially envelope two looks very different now. But it still triggers the cut of, of filter 1. But this filter is now set to an LP24. And yes, I need the Artillery engine again, but this time the noise 1. It's just the normal white noise. What? what? White? White noise, okay. The volume is set to minus 8.5 dB. And everything, really everything goes to filter 1. So when I promise you to keep it simple, I keep it simple. And I have quickly made a short demo loop to see how our presets work together. Starting with the sequencer. And the pad. And the lead. Finally the bass. And now it's your turn. Go on and create your own minimalistic presets in pigments. Let me know how it turns out for you. Also, please don't forget to leave a like before you go. My name is Marcus and I hope to see you soon in one of these videos or the next one.